то, что есть разница. А ну давай, вылить, 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 Good afternoon everyone, Sergey Babic here. Today we're gonna make bait video for shrimp only. I had few anglers, few uh, guys approached me and they asked me how do you make your bait? And I was uh, shrimping recently and some of the guys on the boat, they only cut like uh, anywhere from five to 10 shrimp per pot and that's just uh, not acceptable. Uh, last time when I was shrimping, I pulled out almost five limits in the pot. Bait got to be made correctly. Uh, so today I'm going to walk you through how do I make shrimp bait, what ingredients, uh, exact recipe. So let's go, let's start making a bait. So this is the ingredients that we're going to be using. We're going to be using shrimp pallets and we're going to be using for one portion, a one gallon bucket full. We're gonna be using two cups of fish oil and I got two different uh, type of oil. I got one from McKay's. We're gonna be using four cans of mackerel and uh, four cans of uh, ocean white tuna dinner. It's a frisky brand, doesn't matter what brand. And this is for one portion only. If you wanna make it more, you can always double it. Half of the pallets I'm gonna dump in a bucket. But right there uh, and the rest of them I'm gonna grind them. Half of the gallon bucket of pallets that we placed in this bucket I usually like to fill up with the fish oil and mix it really good and leave it overnight so those pallets absorb that fish oil and in the morning when I'm making that bait I add to the rest of the ingredients but we're not gonna have time today to do that so uh, I'm just gonna soak them maybe for half an hour. I'm gonna shake my oil really good and two cups of oil I'm just gonna fill it up doesn't have to be exactly two cups this is good enough and I'm gonna dump it into my pallets and I'm gonna mix them really good and let them soak in this fish oil absorbing as much of that oil in them so all of that <clears throat> oil gonna send out the sand and yeah, just mix them if you leave them overnight like that make sure mix them few times because if you don't all of that oil gonna go down to the bottom and not all of your pellets gonna be soaked in the fish oil just like maybe every two hours mix them good Just like that. Let me explain why am I grinding half of my pallets and the other half I leave them is a hole. I don't want to grind all of my pallets to create the smoothie or peanut butter consistency only. If my pot reach the bottom, my bait gonna disappear very fast. So we need to grind it to send out a cloud of sand and the one that soaked in a fish oil, they gonna stay for as long as you're gonna be soaking your pot. I usually soak my pot about 45 minutes. So if you still have the bait in your bait cage, shrimp gonna continue going in. As soon as that bait disappear, they'll leave. If you don't have a grinder, the other half that you're supposed to grind, place it in a separate bucket, fill up anywhere from one to two cups of water and leave them overnight. They'll soften up. You can smash them to make a mushy or you can use paint mixer and mix it really good. And it's gonna work just as well. After grinding our pellets, I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients, uh, ocean white tuna, 
dinner. There we go. So four cans per one gallon of pellets. If you want more bait, double everything. And dump all of this mackerel with the juices. Yeah, we need those juices. They're very scenty. Let's see. Mm. Tastes really good. And the last one. And to this half, I'm gonna add one cup of oil. All together, three cups of oil. And I'm gonna just mix everything by hand really good. And when it's uh, too runny, you can always add some more grind up pellets to thicken up a little bit. Yeah, just makes it very well break down. We're still gonna use a drill mortar with the paint mixer to mix very, very good. You don't want only partially mixed. You want it mixed really good. Okay, that's good right there. The rest of the pellets mix it really good. And I'm gonna dump it with the rest of the ingredients. I'm gonna let this drip off a little bit make sure all of that oil mixed up with our bait all right so mix this really really good This is the consistency that you needed. This is plenty of ingredients for this bait to work really good, but I'll take an extra step. I'm gonna grind some of shed that I have. If you guys have a, a carcasses of salmon or fins, tails, uh, leftovers or guts, you can grind them up and add to your bait and that's gonna work even better. I'm gonna grind some of this shad that I cut last year. I can cut it open and drain the juices. Yeah, we need those juices right there. All right, and we're gonna just go ahead and grind the fillets. I'm gonna mix this really good and I'm gonna use that drill mortar to make it nice and mixed. After that, I'm gonna use my drill mortar with the mixer to mix really, really good. So all of it got spread equally. I'm gonna mix it with my drill mortar and mixer. Thank you. 
We mix that really good and this is the consistency that you need. Now we're gonna fill the bait cages. I just stuff it all the way so it just comes out on the sides. Make sure, yeah, just like that. Then kind of scoop everything off by smearing it just like that. And put the lid back on. You're gonna place it in this cardboard. Second tube, same thing. As you can see, I did that you still have whole pallets. That's gonna last. The longer your bait lasts, the, the shrimp's gonna continue on going in, into your shrimp pot. You, on the end of the day, you're gonna end up with lighter shrimp. Just like that, yep. If you wanna end up with successful shrimping day like I have, this is the recipe for the right bait. After filling up this bait, one of this bait cages is gonna go into my freezer. I have a, a bait freezer and the other one gonna go into my fridge. I'm gonna leave them overnight. Uh, the reason for freezing it, it's gonna slowly melt and send out the scent. And the one that's gonna go into fridge it's gonna stiffen up a little bit. It's not gonna disappear very fast. That's all we got for you guys. If you have any additional questions, just drop them down below. Just try this recipe. Let me know how it works. This is it. Please thumbs up, subscribe, and leave the comments below. Thank you. See you guys next time.